Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how you can actually decrease or reduce ping within Fortnite Chapter 2. I will be showing you guys a few Windows optimizations that you can do to actually better your internet connection and basically just lower your ping. Kind of that simple. I will be showing you guys how to do it within 60 seconds. This takes 60 seconds. So obviously, I don't want to make the intro too long. I do not want to talk too much. I want to make this video about two minutes with this whole intro and everything like that put together. If you guys go ahead to enjoy the video, this does help you. You know, drop a like. It's the least you guys can do. Helps out way more than you guys think. Subscribe, post notifications on if you have not already, so you never miss an upload just like this. I will soon show you guys how to actually increase FPS in 60 seconds when I do have the time to make that video. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the optimizations. Okay guys, so I don't want to talk too much, I want to get straight into everything, but I just need to explain to you guys what optimizations I'm going to be showing you right now. So what we're going to be doing is actually increasing your bandwidth within your internet connection. So we'll be disabling the bandwidth limit that is automatically set within Windows 10. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Okay guys, so I am over on my desktop right now. What you guys want to do is press the Windows key and R. So this will bring up this right here. We can just search up here, run, and then just click the app right here. You want to type in G-P-E-D-I-T, which is gpedit.msc, like so. You guys may run into an issue just like this, where when you run it, it says exactly this. And basically, Windows cannot find the group policy editor. So you will have this error code. If that is the case, just cross out or there. And there will be a link in the description where you guys can find this site. And you will have to just download it and install it onto your PC. It literally takes less than 30 seconds, so I'm going to do it right now. When you guys click run, it will say, do you guys want to actually open this application? You do just press yes. And then as you guys can see, I have actually got it open right here. For most of you guys, that step to actually download GP edit policy will actually not be needed. Probably like 5% of you unlucky people watching this video. I was one of the unlucky ones and had to actually install this fresh onto my PC. As I had someone working on my computer who disabled it. But obviously I have it now and it's all fine. But now guys, the next step. So what you guys want to do is click onto computer configuration. Go onto administrative templates. Go onto network. And then go onto one that says QoS Packet Scheduler, where it says Limit Reservable Bandwidth. Double click that, press Enabled, and you will have to change this number right here. You will just have to change this band bandwidth limit percentage to zero. It's kind of simple. You guys then press Apply, and then OK. And now your bandwidth does have no limit to it, which will actually increase your ping quite significantly. So that is a great step. And most people haven't actually done that. I thought I'd cover it in this video. Now let's get straight into the next step. Okay, guys. So the next thing you guys want to do to actually optimize a little bit more would be to go over to this right now. The link will be in the description. And you guys want to download something called TCP Optimizer 4. This is basically a broadband tool in which you can actually optimize your internet connection and speed within Windows 10 that little bit more, which can only be done through this actual, actual external application, which has been developed so yeah just click on this like you literally go on the page you click this right here and it will download for you guys it's fairly simple once you guys have downloaded it you will just have to open it and yeah i'll just quickly open it right now as you guys can see i have actually opened the application it's all open right here what you guys want to do first off is go where it says network adapter section and make sure you are actually adapting the correct thing so this does say usb wireless lan card which is the wireless connection which is connected to my pc but what i actually use for gaming and playing fortnite is an ethernet cable so i will have to scroll down and my ethernet cable is this right here which is a killer e2 5000 gigabyte ethernet controller which basically is a part of my motherboard and it's where i plug into my i it's where i plug my ethernet cable and yeah that is basically what i want to adapt so just make sure that is adapting the correct thing so these settings do apply and also with this right here what you guys want to do is change your connection speed to the relevant megabytes per second mine was automatically set on 10 but that isn't the case if i do go on google chrome and search up internet speed test like this you press run speed test this is now going to run an internet speed test which you guys will want to do to find out how many megabytes per second you actually have for your download and upload therefore you can change this so how we're going to do this is actually go from my download speed, which is 91 megabytes per second. So I'm going to go back into this application and basically just change this to 90. And then that should be fine. You just guys do want to just make this corresponding to whatever yours is. It's kind of simple. And then with all these settings here, you guys do want to make them so they do match mine. I have already changed them all. So just pause the video and quickly copy these settings. It's fairly simple. You can just pause the video and do that and make sure these are all the same. Once you guys have done that, you can press apply changes. 
and then you guys will want to go over to advanced settings now you guys have actually done all of that and went over to the advanced settings you guys will just want to do the same thing you know pause the video i can make this as quick as possible and just copy these settings i have already optimized them literally pause the video change all of these to what i have on screen right now then you just copy these settings and once you guys have done that that is it for the tcp optimizer and you guys can just press apply changes it will then prompt you to actually restart your pc where you will go ahead to do that and then it is only one more step to do that's to restart on your pc come back to this video and just quickly check this last step but we'll get into that right now okay guys so the last step for this video would be to actually consider network resetting so if you guys do go down to here and do search up network reset like so you will get this click onto that in your system settings we'll say this network reset this will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and basically give a clean reinstallment every network adapter which is in your pc all the settings i just shown you guys did not actually help may be a great thing to do which will refresh your internet potentially move any pups or potentially unwanted programs which are affecting your broadband on your pc and just give basically everything a fresh restore you know when you do reset your pc on a whole it always does feel nicer so it does sort of work the same with ne network resetting except you're not actually resetting your computer you're only resetting the network adapters which actually takes less than five minutes so it isn't you don't really lose anything for doing this and it can slightly better performance and decrease ping but yeah just press reset now and it will restart your pc again and we'll just clean install all your network adapters which can help reduce your ping with that all being said, that is about it for this video. There isn't really much more to it. But everything I showed you guys in this video should have helped quite significantly. And you should see a reduction in your ping. If you guys don't see it straight away, don't worry. Because it can take a little bit of time. And it won't always be a consistent reduction. But when you need it the most, you will feel that different. It's kind of if you play the game a lot, you will notice this. Tell me what you guys think. Head into a creative game and tell me if it feels any smoother. And comment that down below. Drop a like if you guys did get to the end of the video. It is the least you guys can do for me just bringing you guys this content. And it does help support the channel. Subscribe, post notifications on so you never miss an upload just like this. I will be making another video like so, but with FPS and how to fix FPS in 60 seconds. With some new optimizations I have found. But keep an eye out for that. But yeah, that's about it for the video. It's been your boy Farfetch. And yeah, peace.